In 1965, a man named August Roy died here in Hanukkah, New Hampshire, and with August Roy's death, the legend of ocean-born Mary, the story of ghost visitations, buried treasure, and grisly death, a saga of myth, went with him. I say ghost story, ghost story made up. Not true by Gussie Roy himself, and so was the story that all this haunting occurred in the house that Gussie Roy owned. So the fact is, ocean-born Mary did actually spend her last 16 years in this town. She's buried here. But Mary never lived in Gussie's house. Gussie did live in a house once owned by ocean-born Mary's son, Robert, but Mary actually lived with another son, William. So Gussie had to lie, and he did lie. He claimed that Mary had actually lived in the house he owned. This was 1929, by the way. That was the start of the Great Depression. Money was scarce, and Gussie cobbled up this story and opened his home to the public. Way to make money in the public. They loved it. For the next 35 years, it was a destination. People went there, and they saw ghosts and bloody footprints, and they dug in the orchard for treasure. But the story was, of course, made up. But you know, the beginnings of this story are true. And this is it. In 1720, a ship sailed out of Derry in Northern Ireland, bound for New England. Aboard the ship were a number of Scots-Irish families, and among the passengers was one James Wilson and his wife, Elizabeth. And she, she was pregnant due to deliver soon. Well, Pirates ran the ship down, and they boarded, and they stole all the valuables, and they were prepared to kill everybody aboard, but then Elizabeth went into labor and delivered a baby girl. The pirate captain was deeply touched, and he told Elizabeth that he would spare the crew and the passengers if she would name the baby after his mother, Mary, and it was, of course, done. And the pirate captain, before he left the ship, gave Elizabeth a bolt of silk to be made into a wedding gown when the little girl was old enough. And that swatch of fabric, by the way, can be seen to this day in the Henniker Historical Society. The family first settled in Londonderry, New Hampshire, where Mary had her own family afterwards. And then in her old age, she came here to Henniker to live with her son. And here she's buried. But because of Gussie Roy, nowadays ocean-born Mary is probably the person most people think of when they think of Hanukkah.